Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to the last spell. So, by the first night with our new characters, get everything set up nicely, and uh, put some defenses in place, and let's have a go, shall we? Yeah, everybody's in their right positions. Here we come. Okay, so they're coming out hard early on. Okay. Just need to try and keep their numbers down here. On this flank... this flank we should be able to do some good damage against them and keep their numbers suppressed here there's not a lot we can do I will move up to a more advantageous position I will pop Sealed up. They will be able to get within some range of us, but that's okay. 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 So, up on the walls. They're starting to push out. I am more than happy to waste I am more than happy to waste ammunition just to like weaken them. The ballistic here will help. You have poison. So let's throw out some contagions on targets. Let's get here. Poison everybody. And then everybody gets infected to a certain extent. Get back inside. Now you can go to town. Move up. Okay. You're in a bit of a vulnerable position, but a lot of them are stun-locked. So poison will help to us to an extent. Okay. They're starting to hit the walls here. I will do a strike here to basically buy us some time. Hold down the line here, please. Okay. Here you're going to basically throw out more contagions. And you're going to continue to pick off lone targets. Okay, here, people are going to get messed up, which is fine, that's going to be passed on to him, he's going to get it as well, 
I don't want to go too deep in because if I do, I run the risk of not being able to get back out. So we're going to basically hold the line here, armor up. Now fall back. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Yeah, his armor goes down. And they're starting to hit on our walls here. Okay. That guy's going to try and get over the walls. There's not a lot I can do about that. Can't easily hit him. I can take those guys out. Can't get... Easy damage on them. Okay, this is going to be start to be an issue on this side. Here, you need to run back down here. And we're going to start throwing down contagions. And dropping group poisons on people. Okay. Your movement is reduced. 42. We still have enough for a seismic tremor. So let's get here. Armor up. Yeah, they're, they're, they're starting to push. Okay. Man, I haven't got an easy way of dealing with these guys. Heavy beam at... Okay, that will take out some of them. Let's jump down from the tower. And do that, then jump back in. We're still making bonus on mana replenishment. This flank is going to start to be a problem, though. Okay, first things first. 42, so we can drop another one of these. Down here. There's no... You know, there's an okay place for contagion here. Poison them. They're dead from the poison. Okay, that person's going to hit the wall, but it's fine. Get in here and we'll just start bamfing the local infected. Uh, we have enough armor that we can still tank for a bit, so it's not the biggest loss. This side is now the side I'm worried about. Okay. Right. Can't easily get out of here. 
that won't reach that, so I actually have to get down off the tower. Okay. That's down. Heavy shot on him. Okay, crossbow will do some of the work. On this side. up we need to get more people on the field as quickly as possible okay that's cleaned up that flank you only took a little bit of panic that person's down but is that the third person oh no it's two okay Okay, that's done. Everyone leveled up, no one took any damage. Got a bit of extra money in here. We got Night Survivor, I guess, fine. Murderer, one hero, yeah, okay. Okay, money we have is not nearly enough for what we need for the project. So, with 3,000, basically 3,500, what do we want to get? Um, more uncommon items or more item rerolls. Having more uncommon items is quite helpful, so we'll grab that. Nothing is unlocked there. Okay. So first of all, level level ups. Yeah, straight up damage for our warrior. Well, critical is really nice. 15% critical. What's the next perk in the line for him? Um, stun we could get. When apply poisons to a unit currently poisoned, they also apply stun. Bam, damage buff would be nice. Um... Spike counter isn't great. He hasn't got great dodge, so it doesn't really matter. This is good to getting his magic back up, because of the amount of poison damage he puts out. Uh, crit of 15 is good, but we're not going for a crit build for him. Daily mana regen, critical power... I will put it into that poison damage. We can either get our stun or we can get... I'm probably going to get Harvester for him. He does a lot of poison and then we can basically get health regen. Um, he's not going to be the tankiest bloke in the world, unfortunately. Okay. This character. Range character. Crit going up would be good. Straight up damage would also be good. We could also do a re-roll. Or we can get more action points. Action points going up is really good, so we'll get that. And then we'll grab... Uh, range, damage, or mana regen. I'll grab mana regen, because we can get items The boost. Okay. Quick reload is always really good. Um, when attacking I said units, reliability is also really good. Mark target is very powerful. But reload allows us to basically get some skills back. Which skill actions back, so if we're having to rapid fire it's always powerful to have. Mage, okay. Damage, movement points.
this character's build is going for isolation, isn't it? Which could, critical would be nice. Being able to get around the battlefield quicker, though, is very important. Um, down a mana, daily mana regen, poison damage. We don't. We we do do some poison. We're going for the poison build, which I do like in this game. It's it's always useful to get. Um. Attacking I say the units critical, yeah. Maybe I should have gone maybe I should have gone into crit then rather than Ah I can always boost it. But movement is really good to have. Cheer is good to have as well. It's either that one or we go for the one that basically gives more mana regen for kills. I think I'd grab the one for mana regen for kills. That's not too bad against lone targets. Then we'll grab that one next. Okay. We've got a item from this night. What is it? Anything decent? Block. Um... So we're basically trading opportunism and accuracy for daily health regen and mana. Physical damage, poison damage. Critical power, accuracy, resistance. You'd get that, wouldn't benefit you really. You already have something that's better than this. And you would basically get some minor things, so it's not as great. Okay. Um, we can get a hat, which is just blocking some dodge. Grab the armor. Lose two points of armor, but we get health regen and we get block. We get health regen and we get mana. Accuracy and dodge goes up. Block gets dropped though by three. Okay. Right. I really want to grab this body. Not a lot, though, for in a single item that we don't have anything. Could be something really good. Critical power, momentum, reliability, momentum, health received. Dodge, health, reliability, health received. Momentum, critical power. Hmm. Momentum we're not using. Health, reliability, health received and dodge, but extra armor. Okay, fine, we'll grab that. We'll grab that and throw it on our knight. His dodge goes up. Oh, well, his armor goes up. Yeah, his trait's never going to be great, though. Always curtails various bits and pieces. Okay. So, money-wise, we need to get the Seer down now, and we need to do the pushback. Okay. That done. We can go... That to get materials, takes all our workers. Grab the inn. But we can't hire anyone because we haven't... Up well, we can get one person, but we haven't got any money. 
which is going to suck. Okay. So we've got the in down and we've got the seers base down. Anything in the shop. Light armor, propagation damage, damage. Really good bow to get, but I can't afford it. Okay. Let's see, it's not too bad for a wizard. It's not too bad for a wizard for the propagation damage. Gun maybe, but it takes a lot of accuracy. Steel crossbow to handed. I really would like that, but we haven't got nearly enough money to buy that, even if I pawn these things off. 52. 52 isn't really enough to work with. Um, It's basically that, but we get a bit of mana regeneration and some isolation bonus. It's not worth investing in that. Uh, dagger. Base dagger, though, so it's got nothing but the basic stab. And it's the offhand version as well. I'm really tempted, actually. All those places upgraded, yeah. I'm tempted to actually invest. I'm tempted to invest our money in um, mines. Make it cheaper for us to run them to get extra gold with workers once we've run out of these places to do. Um... Or we could save. Personally, I'm more inclined to save to get the upgrade to get more heroes out, or at least get a hero out sooner next turn. Right. Repairs aren't great. Right. Defensive wise. Couple of choices. I want to make it as inconvenient as possible for the enemy to get in, so I don't want to have them a straight line for the door, so they can just come straight for. So having this here is not a good place. You want to put it here or here, so it's off center. Put it here. Nah. Well, I've made it. Made this isn't apparently. Door's going here. Okay. what we have left if I get rid of this can I build a wall here yeah okay This is only a one, so we can hold off spending. This bit has to be held. Build these up. I'm going to build this section up because the enemy's going to hit us hard here. 
Okay. Um... What do we want to have? This is the question. If I shove you in here, you still have a dead zone where you can't shoot. So you don't want to be right buttressed up against a wall. Okay. Something like here, maybe. Or here. If you're positioned here, you can cover most of the approach besides some weak points. Okay. I think I made a mistake with upgrading the walls, and you can't degrade them either now, which is annoying. Okay. So we'll put a tower down here. And with what we've got left of materials, I am going to start fortifying the wall. Okay. Yeah, upgrading these defenses here. Without the crossbow it will be hard, but we should be able to do it. Um, hopefully. If not, I'll keep the mage on hand to basically run interference. But for the time being, they have to hold off the main attacks coming this way. Okay. That's all I've got. Let's go. Yeah. I'm not happy they fall. We still haven't got another, um... And they've got these guys rolling out already. Okay. Pick off the runners. Don't want to use that already. Uh, we hit people from here with any of these. Yeah, but we need to get out the tower. One row over. Okay. Back in. The thing I find frustrating about this is I swear I'm playing it's supposed to be on normal difficulty. And the guy. I don't know if the game is. Because it says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it told you what difficulty that you are on? It says that, like. Like the hardest difficulty, which I know isn't true. Okay. We need to kill this guy, because he's a massive threat. Or at least weak him in enough. Um, this guy's going to be a pain as well, but there isn't a lot that I can do about him. Not at this stage of the game. And you're no way close, and I'm not sending you... So he's got to be able to march right up to the gate. Okay. So you guys got to have to tank it for a little bit. So out we come. Now we start throwing down contagions. 
and you're really going to have to go to work. Man, we're not going to have much luck with this today, are we? That will buy us a bit of time. Because they're going to keep pushing up this way. These guys, on the other hand, though, are going to be problematic. Um, he's got Contagion. I need to kill him off. Because if I can kill him off, we can get a nice solid hit on this guy in the back. Or in the front. For mo maximum damage. You need to come up here so we can snipe the toad. Okay. It's going to really work. So let's armor up and get here. Get some poison up. On the walls down here, it's still relatively okay. Just basically shooting everyone I can who's going to be a pain. <laughs> Keeping the numbers down on this side. Okay. I could turbo beam them. Just turbo beam them and kill them all. But that's going to take a lot of charge. So I'm coming up at plus 11 on this character. If I do turbo beam, it drops it down to 22. Which basically means I can't then use. Yeah. Quite a waste when we haven't even hit the counter yet. I'd rather just hit people with contagion, to be honest. And just keep poisoning people. Just keep poisoning the whole lot of them. That person's going to die from the poison. Right. That person's going to die from the contagion. That person's going to die from the contagion. That lone person, though, I'd missed, and it's annoying, because he's going to become a pain. Okay. That's fine. That's not fine. Okay. 
In the wall, please. Oh, in the tower, please. First things first, suit you. Really? Okay. That's fine, we're keeping it under control down here. You're gonna snipe this guy because he's off on his own. That's fine. We snipe him. They all get poisoned. You can come here. Armor up. And you step back to here. This is the main... Yeah, this is where I'm starting to get a bit nervous because the amount of runners that are down here now. Um, this, we haven't got a super easy way of dealing with them. And they're not lining up politely for me either. Yep, okay, that's bad. Plus the door won't take much of a hit and they're starting to concentrate. Okay. And we've yet to hit our capacity. Plus there's a big boy back, okay. That's as much as I can do to help you. Drop a contagion. You can move up and start smacking him. That push down there is going to be annoying, but. Hopefully you can handle it, because I need to pull him, that this person down here, to help on this front. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Get here. You're really not going down, are you? Okay. Um. This is really bad because they'll break through if I'm not careful. But they'll break through up here if I'm not careful either. Um, and there's a lot of them. Hold for as long as you can. Okay. Okay. 
And there's a couple of big guys in the back as well. I can see them. Don't think I can't. Okay. okay. They're all on the wall. Okay. To do wall clearance right now. <laughs> we can't afford to lose the bonus. Okay. That's forty nine. That takes six, so that take me down. That would take me down to eighteen. Let's do it. Okay, wipe that out. Those guys dead. Right, you need to basically kill... Okay. I really can't afford for those two to be in range. At the same time, it's a massive risk. So I can't snipe the guy in the back. Okay, they're breached. They breached. Okay. That's not good. Still haven't gotten out the threshold, so we should be okay still. Okay, let's go. Right, run down here. Not enough movement. No. Can we get something off with poison, maybe? Yeah, it damages our walls though, but it should be okay. Okay, panic is starting to rise. Level up. Not as much money this time, which is to be expected. Okay. Two way attack. 
not great. First things first, as always, push back the smog. This is a bit more time. Um, also, three houses is. I need the money. Upgrade. We do this and get a bit of resources and money. Is there a hero worth grabbing right now? Doesn't matter because I need one. Bag slots. Make him some range magic. Okay. This person isn't bad. Range damage isn't great, and bag slots isn't great. But if we make him purely a magic user or a melee user, it should be okay. Um, you. Poison damage, physical damage, but you're suffering from health penalties, accuracy, and skill range. Movement points are bad, nimble, and health receiving isn't so bad. But you, is, it's just range damage and a couple of bag slots. Elf and mana. Yeah, let's grab him. Elf and mana. Yeah. Grab him, throw him down on the line. Okay. With the money we have, is there anything worth grabbing? Man, Omen of Valor is obscene. Unlocks, no. No soft unlocks, no. Anything like that, okay. Right, so... Movement points, damage... I'll grab the pants. Make him a we can make him a battle mage. That could be useful. Depends on how we want to spec his skills. Track. Interesting. Okay. We'll just do a quick level up and we'll be done. Okay, so our fighter... Armor, accuracy, mana, damage. Let's reroll. Yeah. Straight up more damage. Um, yeah, more damage. And I will get. Yeah, restore health from when poisoning people is always good. That one's really good to get as well. Range character. Damage, movement point, accuracy. Uh, accuracy is really good, especially means that we can bypass resistances. Who like dodge, especially on the more annoying enemies. Um, critical power, opportunism. Yeah, great. I shouldn't have rerolled that, really. Okay, down the line.
Never an actual unit is killed by 4% damage or 6% when using physical damage up to 10%. Eh, it's good. Mark. Um, more XP from defense towers, that's always useful. Extra runic trinket slots. Yeah. I'll grab that because against the port and VIPs we need to kill them. Get your critical up. Let's just reroll and see if we can get something. Ah. Extra poison damage is not bad, especially if we're going with the build for her. Um, let's get Relentless isn't bad Lone Wolf isn't bad Yeah Get that up Let's keep building up Her, her ability to do crit damage Right, you have a lot of unspent points. So if you're going to be in melee, let's see if we can get you something decent. Increased accuracy is always useful, so you don't miss. Damage is nice. Okay. We'll go with, let's see if he has the perks, that's good. Yeah, so daily health regen. Physical damage as well would be good. But if we're going to spec him to be close range. And then give him that for an extra 55 points of armor. If he's going to be Battle Mage, he want to be... Um, he can't get the Poison, he can get the Contamination. But we could go... Contagion. And then we could get... Buff. Stick him and him with the other Warrior. And uh, you can basically play off each other, which is nice. Okay. So it's going to be basically like a battle mage build, I think. He hasn't got the mana for it right now, but we can build him up. We keep him close to the other fighter. And we can do quite a lot of damage. Now a battlefield, lots of his contagion going off. So he needs shield is nice. I'll grab the spell book and then uh, frost mage armor. We'll just straight up a ton of armor on him. We'll grab that. He can have that, that, and that. So he's relatively kitted out. We just need to give him a better weapon. And he can have the spell book as backup. So he can start firing off spells early and then throw himself into melee when things get a bit close. Money wise. We have long bow for long post for long range suppressing is always good. Uh, that seems a bit stupid because it's basically counting to out to get um, extra poison damage. Yes, please. Uh. 
that's one handed, it's not an off handed weapon, okay. Grab that. And now we're really long cast because I miscalculated. No, we're not long cast. 49. Okay. Um, I need to upgrade. Yeah, he needs a better hand weapon. 25 won't get me anything, I don't think. Um, besides a basic potion of moving around the battlefield. Okay. Twenty-five. We could start investing in building up our minds. Yeah. Okay. Even more poison damage. Really stacking her poison damage up. Okay. You just a straight up improved axe. Bit of extra damage. Okay. Gone a bit longer than I anticipated. Right. So two and a two. Well, it's fairly straightforward where I'm gonna put people. So you in here. I need to get a better crossbow for you. And you can hold the line here. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. And the two of them can basically go up here. Need to build up the walls. That'll be our main main thing next time. But this has gone on much longer than I anticipated, folks. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Yeah, happy with it. We'll build up the defences next episode, reinforce the ones here, and then deal with what's to come. So far, day four, not too much to complain about. Four heroes on the field. Our economy is fairly good. Have some repairs to do, to be honest. I should probably hit that button now, to be honest. Um, fix up the fix up the wall here, put some defenses in place, throw down some towers. Well, not towers, but uh, well, we'll see what happens. I might put in another tall crossbow bolt throwing bolt throw to help support this corner here. But that's for next time. I've been Cornish Knight. Goodbye.